Hey guys, how's it going? So, as you may have seen in my other video, the warning sensors that come up on my BMW that I've just bought. Um, it's tire pressure sensors, but anyway, after some investigation with a tire company and also BMW, uh, basically this model didn't ever have tire pressure sensors. It goes off to the speed sensors. So, and I spoke to BMW and they said, if I try cleaning the sensors, that could be an issue. So I'm just gonna try that today. Hopefully it'll sort the issue out, but I don't know, it's kind of 50-50. I think it's more likely to be a fault with one of the sensors, but I may as well try this first and then go from there uh, as a process of diagnosing what's wrong with it. Uh, this is not really a how-to video, just a video of me doing it. In case I'm making any mistakes, it might be worth watching video. Enjoy. Well, as you can see, wheels are off. Jacked up and wheels off. And I am so hot, it's so stuffy in here. Where's the torch? So that's it there, the sensor. That one there. Hmm. Brake pads are kind of medium, okay. Not too much else to see. No leaks, so that's good. Nothing's too smashed up. Nice bit of cooling for the brakes there. Real venting, real life venting. So that's the sensor. Looks, there's a bit of crap on the outside the dust, and there's a little bit of grease on the end. I don't know if they would have put that on there to help with the contact or something, or if it's just dirt or grease that they picked up somehow when they put it on, knocking it on something else. So yeah, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna just clean it all up anyway with some degreaser. Where can I put this? No. Well, it looks pretty clean. It's not exactly uh, surgical standards, but I'm hoping if there was a, just a little bit of dirt, it was enough to get rid of it off of there. Take that grease off the brakes as well. So yeah, anyway, it's clean on the end now. So that's it, I'll put it back on and on to the next side.
I don't know what's going on there. As you can see, that axle stand is underneath. The jack is fully extended. But I can't get this one underneath. It's only just a tiny bit. But it won't go. So I don't know if there's a bump in the concrete or something over this side. sure what to do. It's probably just resettling its position but even so a bit disconcerting. <sighs> Definitely. Yeah that went down so that's not good. to see what to do here. Also I decided even though I couldn't get the other axle stand underneath I went ahead with it anyway because I'm not getting underneath there properly. I've just got one under axle stand underneath and also the jack so it should be alright and I'll have to get a different jack down the line. Now this rear one is very Gunky and dirty indeed. So you never know, but hopefully that could be why it's playing up. Ooh, well, I've cleaned all the sensors as best as I can. I'm not expecting it necessarily to fix the problem, but at least it's a step in the right direction for diagnosis. And yeah, I'll take the jack back because it didn't go high enough. As you would have seen, I needed a low profile one. But it just didn't extend high enough for some reason this side. I couldn't get the stand under at the lowest height. So probably you have to spend a bit more money investing in a proper, a better quality one that does more. But it'll be good anyway because it'll be rated to a high rating. So it'll be safer. I really hate jacking cars up. It's the most scary, dodgy thing. I just hate it. There's only one thing that can go wrong. But yeah, it's just horrible. Everything's creaking. The springs are creaking. Well, the jack moves obviously because it's meant to yeah don't enjoy it i'm gonna get some wedges i think for the front or for the wheels just some chocks for the wheels that i'm not lifting just as an extra thing for next time thanks for watching well just a quick update i went for a drive and inevitably the warning lights are back on so unfortunately cleaning the sensors didn't work but it's all good i had i'm not too disappointed i'm had realistic expectations that it probably wouldn't work so on to the next step and also now my brakes I think they're on the way out from uh, slightly excessive braking so that'll be another video coming soon and also I'm going to do a more detailed video on the car in general